Greetings, minions and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade Dagger playing Defense Grid The Awakening. This is episode 12, Guardians Fall. Little is left of the majestic capital city from the last war. Aliens pick through the remains. I don't exactly remember how this map plays out. It's been a long time since I played it. But uh, if it's anything like the last map, which we aced pretty pretty handily um, we'll see this might actually be a bit, bit more of a challenge so in order to get the high score we need to beat 63,000 points for the gold medal can't promise we'll get it in the first shot but let's give it a go anyway so uh, here we go some towers are better than others against certain aliens oh this one's a pain in the ass Wait. I remember this. Hated every second of it. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, keep an eye on our resources. Speed her up a little bit. Hopefully, we don't jack this up. And here we have our friendly concussion tower to do the dirty work for us. Not a bad job of it, actually. Alright, that's pretty cool. Get our cores back. We need to eliminate that. Come on. Uh-oh. There we go. Come on. Get him. See, this right here is going to be a problem spot. Because new guys coming in won't have the opportunity getting around here to get nailed, so we have to make sure we get them pretty wounded up ahead of time. Actually, let's see how the cannon does here. We'll also have to deal with flyers as well. Oh no, not the raspberries. Everything is gone. Come on. Alright, so we're doing alright so far. This is actually better than some of my starts on this level. I do remember it now. I remember having to do it over and over again because those little buggers kept slipping through. We will make sure that doesn't happen this time around. Very nice. There we are. Awesome. So over here, let's see if we put a concussion tower here, I'm that'll sorry. get all the way around. Sweet. This city was my home. I never saw incoming. Boy, that was kinda wiggy to hear, wasn't it? Definitely got to upgrade this thing. Let's 
So the concussion towers are doing us pretty good justice here. Hurting them pretty good. Especially in the groups. So, let's see, we can upgrade this. That'll really put a bruising on them. And then we can complement that with a temporal tower when we get the resources for it. Thank goodness we've regained the call. There we go. So we'll just speed it up, Tad. Something new coming. Oh, what's this? I've talked that one into the database. Ah, shield projectors. They put the shields on the other aliens around them. And of course, same rules apply when it comes to the um, weapons that can affect shields. Inferno Towers and lasers will not affect them. Alright, so let's get a uh, Temporal Tower in here. And then we'll have to upgrade it to extend the range. This will help bunch them up on the entrance and it'll stretch them out on the exit. I don't know if that uh, translated well, but that's essentially what happens. It compresses them when they enter the time dilation field, and it makes it so they split apart as they exit. Essentially, I just want them to get underneath this thing for as long as possible and as bunched together as possible so that the damage is more com compressed or more condensed. Okay, so that should be doing good there. Let's mop these up. And we'll put another temporal tower here when we can. Actually, we got flyers inbound, so let's see. There we go. That should help. Not a cure-all, mind you. this will take care of these guys. Look at that. Shredded those guys like it was nothing. And that just tells you the benefits of pairing up the right towers with each other. You can take this sorry Come on, get them. We might end up having to backtrack one. And I think that's what's going to have to happen. All right, so we go back one. That sucks. I was really hoping to get it in one Hang take. On. I haven't seen these before. Added alien information to database. All right, so lesson learned. Don't get cocky. So we'll try to repeat what we did to an extent. And change things a little bit better here. Oh, 
Hopefully I didn't do that the wrong time. Could have done it at a better time, though. Should be fine. those killed and all right here we have some flyers coming in all right Yeah, I forgot I had the laser, too. Not a problem. That's awesome. Alright, so... Let's see what we've got. We could put a cannon... Here. Mm, shouldn't be a big deal. Hopefully we got this paced out right this time. Here comes the boom! go. So, let's see. What else can we do here? Put a gun there. Nice. Very nice. Try to upgrade this one. Come on, just a little more. A little more. There we go. And we gotta put more of a hurt down on these guys. Come on. Take him to Pain Town. Come on, get him. Eat him up. There we go. Uh-oh. We may be in trouble here. We got to kill these guys. Preferably before he can get over here. We 
must be careful. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. I think we may have these guys this time. Sweet. Now it's just a matter of recovering those cores. And we can put in a concussion tower here. This whole bend is perfect for that. Just a matter of getting the points up there. And we got 20 waves this time. So the game is not over yet. And what do we got coming in down here? You see that? They're starting to bunch up here. That is absolutely wonderful when you're trying to get mass targets killed at once. And you can accentuate it with cannon towers. And this guy's pretty much B. Come on. Come on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. cannon here. I'll sauce it up a little bit. So we're doing okay. Could be better, but we're doing okay. So speed this along. Alright, so we'll let that build up a little bit. See how this does. Alright, so now we're really starting to hurt these guys. I want to upgrade this one more, but I need 1100 resources to do it. And we got incoming flyers. And upgrade that, I guess. Probably shouldn't have done that, but we're going to have more fires later, and I would rather the missile turrets deal with it than the cannons. Cannons are better for hitting the ground targets. Hmm. Come on, kill him. Oh boy, we are in trouble if we're not careful. Awesome. Just gotta keep at him. Hmm. Of 
cool. So we're surviving. We're surviving. Come on. Nail him. Come on. This is going to be trouble. We can't kill that guy. We're in deep dookie. Come on. Don't make me backtrack. Ah, oh, nuts. Alright, so we had to backtrack. Sorry about that. Didn't want I do not want to do it twice in an episode. So what can we do to make this better? Come on, get him. Come on, get him, damn it. Gah. Oh, we just squeaked by. So we barely made it on that one. Didn't have to backtrack. That is... Makes me sweat a little bit. That was lucky. <coughs> Excuse me. Shredding them. Yeah, this is a tougher level than uh, the last couple. It's all about the timing, really. Resource management, obviously, but timing. Flyers coming in. Should be out this way somewhere. Come on. There's big guy. And we'll upgrade this. Oop. Don't want to sell it. There we are. There's our big boys. Uh, so now we're at our checkpoint save. How lovely. Hmm. Eh, we'll do a meteor. Why not? Do one here, too. Double the pleasure, double the fun, right? I'm not too terribly worried about getting gold in this level, to be honest with you. I just want to survive it.
Alright. So he's gonna get ripped up. These are getting pretty shredded. Excuse me again for the coffin, guys. I know I do it every single episode, but... It is what it is. Come on, get him. Get him. Rip him a new one. Come on. Almost. And got him. Nice. So, let's see. Guess we'll do that one at least. And I have more flyers coming in. I'm doing a bit of all right. Knock on wood, right? Our power is running dangerously low. When isn't it? Yeah, we'll just hold on to the resources. I'm going to just see how this plays out. Okay. So it looks like we got all of those. And we got some heavies coming in. In groups, how lovely. Let's speed it along a little bit. And it, yeah, see, it's extending the shield onto these guys now. That sucks. Now, the blue line is the shield strength. The green, yellow, or red underneath is their actual health. Alright, hopefully this will do the trick.
Come on. Come on. Get him. There we go. Come on. That's it. Oh, come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh. I hate it when it's so damn close like that. Although I also love it, too. It's a bit of a thrill. Gotta love that kind of challenge, you know? Get right up to the very edge. These guys are going to be sustaining a lot of damage. There we go. Because they're getting soul focus. And I believe we won this, guys. Had it rewind twice. But... It's a difficult level. It looks easy. It really is, but not quite as easy as it looks. But it's not super difficult either, because I've had some missions that were real pissers. This one's definitely up there in the, uh, I hate this level range. <laughs> Alright, so let's see if we got the magic number. I think it was 63,000. And that was as good as it gets. Oh, we came 300 shy. But we beat it. We beat it. And that's what matters, right? So all we needed was another what? Two just shy of 250 in order to have made the gold medal. Now, again, it, it's all down into you know, resource management. It's like that with every damn level, honestly. But in this one, it's also timing and the best placement at the best time. And sometimes getting that, that timing, it works. Sometimes it don't. I mean, as you saw, that one rumbler almost streaked out of the map. And I thought for a sec that I'd have to re re boot back a sec. But no, didn't have to do that. That was uh, awesome. Uh, got him right at the very edge. So anyways, guys, I really hope you like this video. Uh, I hope it's helped you in some way. Obviously, didn't get the gold, so it isn't going to help you get a gold medal, but it's close. You've seen how I did it, and it may very well help you. You probably could have added to or taken away from and got the gold yourself. So I, I hope by that measure it helps you um, with, with your version of the game. Anyways, guys... Um, if you like my videos, great. Uh, please click the like button. Uh, if you like my videos and feel they're worthy, then by all means, please share them. And also, please subscribe so you can keep up to date with all of my videos. Um, right now, I'm adjusting my schedule for 7 Days to Die, so I'm only going to do it 2 days a week until Alpha 13 comes out. And it's starting this Tuesday after I air this episode. Um, Imperion, I'm going to do it all week long as I have been, so there's no change in that. And I am doing the uh, multiplayer, which I hope you saw earlier today and yesterday, uh, as it is when this episode airs anyway, uh, with me and Haladmer. We've been having a lot of fun, so uh, you don't want to miss it. And if, you, if you're subscribed, well, hell, you won't miss it. Right? Right? So, anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, please leave some comments. Let me know what you think. So I can get a feel for how you guys are thinking of this. Uh, and possibly even ways to make things better. So anyways. Catch you later. Or rather. Seizure later. <laughs> twitch. Twitch. <laughs>